Welcome everyone to an arena video. I'm Andromen Gucci and this video is sponsored you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com. Alright. Let's go. Good morning, Jill B. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, this one's very clunky. I'm on the play. I think I'm gonna cut this Mortify. We need to draw a two drop next turn for sure. I can't afford not to. I need that. I need to cut the Mortify because I need three lands, maybe even four. All right, that's a two drop. So that's that's a good start. Now we can go Sorry Minus for a Champion of Dusk, and we really can get back into the game. All right, yeah, let's do that. And this is and this is why I love Sorin. I think it's one of the best cards in the set because it can let you just cheat on mana like in show and tell. Do I attack two planes? Sure. Raise the alarm. Oh no. It's okay. Actually, you know this way. This means that Sorin survives. It'll just take two, we'll play to raise the alarms and then attack. It's and they kill my sword. Right? Good morning, Prodigal Sorcerer. Got a notifications. Don't know where. Or feedback. Alright, no feedbacks. Okay, so sorry, needs to go up. And we'll attack for six and gain six. I mean, this 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 curve is just amazing. Yeah, they just explode here. All right, good performance. Cyber is really thrown away, just throwing a random. Maybe you should just play best of one only. Nox is a grasp. Yeah, this this should be fine. What to cut? Some of these. Maybe one of this. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, uh, Stetanitsky. So I can load it up the decklist for you if you want as well. But either from mobile or from computer, you can uh, see the decklist thanks to the app. Okay, I'm gonna also just add the exclamation mark deck just in case you wanna, I don't know if you can download it from um, from uh, Carbo Live, I, I, I believe you can. We're just gonna go one, two for one. This card is great, Knight of the Ebon Legion. Good morning, guys. You are indeed not first, but it's okay. All right, they go for Green Source. What oh, strange! I can't see the the name of this card. It must be some kind of um. This is strange, right? This should be. Okay, whatever. I drew the perfect card. Adanto Vanguard is indeed the perfect card here. It's usually the card you want to curve out with, and I think I don't want to attack with a Knight of the Evil Legion, nor take four damage just to put a counter on this, because you can't do that. You just lose four life. <laughs> And uh, this one gets a counter, but since um, since anything can happen, I'd rather just not do it. All right, it's taking six, and they flip this. All right, all right this is a good curve for opponent. All right, with Noxious Grasp to deal with the Banalish Marshal. Question is, do I want to deal with it now or later? I think it's going to be now, just because then I can attack for four. Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna go no shoots grasp on this. I even gain a life, which is like not too shabby. And uh, yeah, I think I'm attacking. Because I just enlarged my Knight of the Ebon Legion and I think that's, that's just good enough. Maybe I should board out more Champion of Dusk in this matchup. 
Hello, cousin Boo Boo. Unfortunately, we did not. I did a lot of wins. Just as I did a lot of wins, but Javier bricked very hard and we didn't do well. A little bit upset because uh, there was a lot of money this time around. Way more than last time. And, uh, you know. And this is, you know, it's, just, it's like team events. You know, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Your teammates don't do too much well, but last time, you know, Javier did very well, so it's okay. It's, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Hendra, sorry if it has been asked, discussed, but I have not been following standard. Is control still viable? That's it's it's worse. Control it's worse. There's just such a lot of good cards that I printed, as well as like Chandra, and like a lot of good cards. I when I played Esper Control, I I really, I really, I really, I really lost, you know. So if I go soaring, <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> if I go soaring, all right. No, I think I'm gonna go Legion Lieutenant attack with all. So the the the, the Legion's landing flips, and then I can play Duskborn Legion, Dusk Legion Zilov. I think that is sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna make that play. Tonight I'll have a, a team event. Pauper, Modern, Legacy. I'll play Modern. Just, there's just way too many Pauper and Legacy players and like no Modern players, so I need to play Modern. But it's, 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 it's great. I just love, you know, just, just, just random events with friends. And also it's basically like I'm playing every format because, you know, I just, I just try to play for everyone. <laughs> basically like in a War Magic Cup, so really can't wait. Alpha unfortunately won't be part of it. Point is conceded. I mean, this is definitely not a, a victory that counts, because they both conceded on turn, what, three. But it's okay. I heard that on Arena in the Platinum ranks, it's, it's not like this. I have to go to the bank to steal money. Ooh, steal. Steal means acciaio. So if you want to say rubare, you have to say steal. Alright, what do we want to bottom? Maybe just a soaring. My Cerulean Drake says Monrad is not good. <laughs> What's your favorite gelato flavor? Uh, usually, my favorite gelato flavor is uh, Chocolata Fondente and Stracciatella. Those are two of my favorite gel uh, gelato flavor. Would poor Fine Broker Glow Spore Full Undergrowth Golgari be good? I'm not a fan of that. Instead of soaring to Champion of Dusk, you need into a Droid Crazes. Yes. Yeah, we never went soaring into anything broken thus far. I guess because we're also not playing the 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 the, the, the six drop vampires. So you obviously have less ah, there it is. I called it. I just need the land now. Yes, it is. It is from back in the Journey to Nyx era. The sub video that you see. From PT Journey into Nyx, Mango against Reed Duke. The first PT top 8 for both of us. Me and Reed both have two PT top 8s and... Uh, no, I think Reed has four actually. Sorry, I have three and he has four. And two of us, two of our three and four PT top 8s are together. So... Alright, I bricked. Have you looked over the fandom tournament decklist? I didn't. I didn't. I'll uh do you have do, do you see anything interesting? Right, the six mana, let's see if they're gonna go for a right, crazes. That's usually what happens when I mean I could also go for the Hydra that fights. Or Anissa. But I'm not afraid too much. <laughs> yeah, it should be. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna product face. Yeah, I'm gonna attack face with everything. Hopefully they go to three and then Soaring kills them as soon as I draw land. 
What is Aviar playing? Is Aviar playing mono red? Wow, that's a pretty big raid. Thank you, Show. Thank you very much, Show and uh, everyone from Show Stream. I think I'm still one of the sub subscriber of Show. So yeah, that is. I I have I have Show's emoji here. I do have Show's emoji. F those of you who don't know Show, he is a uh, he's a very good streamer. I did I did net deck him earlier with my yeah I just I also lose this game but yeah welcome everybody we are uh, we're, we were we're doing fine with this vampire deck no of course there's no soaring <laughs> man I immediately switch soaring for a Johnny but yeah all right so the spark and noxious grasp for uh, dust legion zila I think that's the Standard change. I think I also want Gideon maybe against their deck. Yeah, I think I want Gideon. I'm gonna throw him on Mortify. I already bought in two more removal spells. This cardboard overlay is so much better than Deck Master. Yes, yes. The overlay is called Cardboard Live. It has um I think it's much better than Deck Master, yes. Sanctum Seeker, that's upsetting. Why is that? Why is that? Yeah, I agree. Maybe we should play 24 lands. Good morning, El Papo. But yeah, thank you very much, Show, for your big raid. I hope you guys are enjoying Mango Stream. For those of you who don't know Mango, it's me. I am a Magic Pro League competitor. And if you're one of those guys, I hate MPL, you all should die, then I'm not one of you. But if you are a... I love Magic... And I love Mango, here I am. This is a good, this is a pretty solid curve. When it says hello, I'm gonna repeat it. Uh, I need to draw Soren next turn. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, boom, boom, boom. I love Mango, thank you, Mythos. All right, that is not a three drop, but it's okay. I can, if I draw a two drop, it might even be better. Sanctum is good. Sanctum is good. If you go one, two, or even just two, soaring Sanctum, that's a pretty big sweep. A pretty big, big swing. Alright, we did draw this spark, and there was a 1-1 one, one, uh, that draws a card instead. So maybe that one would have been better. Have you tried played Mavering Fane? I did try that. I did try Mavering Fane. Um... This is the article that I wrote last week about vampires. Just imagine if I had Soarin' for a second. Imagine if this Ajani was a Soarin'. Can you ever imagine how bad would it be? Not that Ajani's good though. I mean Ajani's still solid because I can enlarge this and they trade. I think it is fine. Who wins the three travels yesterday? BBD and Seth Manfield. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, I just misclicked, but I saved. All right, they got an eight, and thankfully I don't have Sora in here that does literally nothing, but I do have an Ajani. Mango, could you give me an overview which decks are recently very strong? Very strong? Very strong, I can't tell you. Fine, I'm gonna tell you Vampires and the, um, the Simic that shows playing. Part is what my. Yeah, I mean, Twitch travels, there's just ma very many viewers. Also, I just received the huge raid from Show. Has anyone tried an Alanda? I don't like Alanda. I tried it. I tried it. Mango, Mango, Mango. Yes. Our rivals went. It went good for me, but not so good for my partner. So we did not succeed. All right, that's a pretty big Hydra. It's gonna. Unfortunately, it can't get these parked. It's kind of unfortunate. So I'm gonna play a Dant of Vanguard and pump these. 
and pass. Ah, we are lost a lot, yes. Yeah, but it's okay, lad. I mean, that's... It happens, it happens. It's a game of variance. You don't always win. You can't always be uh, like Marcio. Can you explain a Gianni over 4 mana Sorin? Uh, I'll tell you. A Gianni put 4 counters in this game. What Sorin would have done was uh, basically what a Gianni could do with a minus, but the, the plus is just ping your opponent. It's much worse than dividing counters. Is there a deck list somewhere? So, uh, Saint the Nice. You can see the deck list either from the overlay, that is much better than Deck Master, or by clicking exclamation. Okay. Yeah, I just needed something in this game. I just needed something in this game. I just needed to... A creature. I just needed a creature last turn. Or just this, this part to be another card. Maybe if this part... If this part... If this, this part wasn't one one that draws a card at Dusky Board... Ooh. Sanctum Seeker, though. All right. We might be in the game now, unless they have two good cards in hand. I don't know if I want to reanimate the Legion's uh, Lieutenant, but I think I'm just going to put counters. That's better. No, I'm not using Revivals. Just, just, just click on the... Attack is on. All right, so we attack for six here. Reading the cards is not as good as Deck Master. Uh, that's because maybe you're you're new, maybe? I, I, I really like Cardboard Live. I kind of hated Deck Master. The picture was so big. I, I didn't like it. I'm from Senegalia. Why is nobody else using it? Because it's new. It's a new overlay. I got offered to use it yesterday. And as soon as, uh, I know, it, as soon as uh, they sent me a couple of pictures of, of it, I was like, I was sold. I was like, all right, I want this. All right, let's hope they just flooded and my Ajani can take over. Once again, guys, try to think that if this card was a soaring, try to think how bad could it have been. Also, this card is an emblem. Okay, so what do we want to do here? So I could reanimate a Legion's Lieutenant. This is a 5-6. That's just double block it. I don't want my creature to die. And I want my Johnny to threaten the ultimate. So what I'm doing here is just pump these and attack with both. Sorry, with the Adanto Vanguard. It will be lethal because this is seven damage. Because this is a six and one. This tech station is called Cardboard Live. They would also, they would use it, uh, they use it at the PT as well. Yeah, people still play Soaring and it just blows my mind why they don't play a Johnny. They say good game. Why? No, don't steal my board. Oh, why did I say good game? Oh, come on. Stop trying these fart. Uh, all right. So if I reanimate the, the Legion's Lieutenant and attack with both, that can still double block and chum block. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put the Johnny up to seven because remember, a Johnny has an ultimate. A Johnny is a mythic planeswalker. It has three abilities. If I attack with both, no, I don't want to. Let's just keep them chum blocking. I thought War of the Spark was the right time to introduce ways to get rid of emblems. Oh, who cares? I mean, the emblems are very hard to get. If your opponent gets an emblem, they, they, they should be rewarded. They should be rewarded. Like, I played this a Johnny turn 4 and still turn 6. My opponent didn't manage to remove it. They, they you know, we deserve to win. I mean, they flooded out immensely, so it's okay. <laughs> you know? All right. Looks like they keep on breaking, so that is very good news. I can ultimate a Johnny. I'm going to do it post-combat, though. So I am just I am just going to attack with both here. It's pretty good. We did nothing, but our opponent also did nothing in this game. The thing is that... All right. Get that emblem. Okay. 
You mean Chandra Torch of Defiance? You know that the Chandra Pyromaster is very close to Actually, Chandra Torch of Defiance. Thank you, 92, for your subscription. Hope you are uh, having a good time, my friend. All right, opponent just want to get all the way down. You miss Teamer Energy. Eh, I don't know. I prefer when uh, they start having good people to make standards. Now we have a, we're having a good time. All right, I think this part can safely get out from my deck because it does very little. I mean, I'm pretty sure now I'm going to get blown out by just Nisa or whatever, but let's take like this. No, Teamer is definitely not fine because of Harness Lightning. Teamer was just... I mean, they just made energy producer and energy payoff in the same card. That's, you know, what was what went wrong. That's what went wrong. Are you Italian? Yes. Never put a counter to energy. Yeah. Yeah. There was solemnity, but it obviously <laughs> wasn't in time. Mango, why didn't you try to participate in Celebrity Cup? Uh, because uh, Ital Italy wasn't selected as one of the country to participate in the Celebrity Cup. There was only Germany, France, and, and uh, England. The reason are unknowns. I'd like to think that Italy did not participate and not that Italy sucks compared to the other three countries, which could be true, but hopefully it isn't the reason. All right, I'm just gonna curve out here. Should I probably play the tempo and just one drop? But I, I just want to draw a Godless Shrine and play Champion of Dust next turn. All right, they play a lot of ramp spell. Now they're missing the payout, the payoffs. What do we do though? I could go Mortify on this three four to attack, but I don't think that's gonna bring me anywhere. I'm gonna just go for uh, a Danto Vanguard. Godless Shrine, pay two life, Knight of the Ebon Legion, and then lose two for life on this so that the knights get larger. I'm pretty sure that what are we experiencing now it's worse than Berlusconi. You could have thought that there was a level never to be reached, but I think what we are experiencing now it could be even on a lower level. If you are referring to a lot of the things that are happening right now in our beautiful country. Alright, opponent looks like they're Mana Flood, which is the classic blue-green action. Okay, so I could play Lieutenant, and then maybe just send in the team. I want to keep Mortify for when they play like a huge creature. Like this trashy bee can block a Knight... Ebon Legion with something else and knock it and take it down. It's okay. I'm gonna play uh, Legion Lieutenant and attack with the, the, the three cards on the. that are not three threes. Yeah, the Devil Block, as we predicted. I'm gonna kill the Brontodon. It's not a great attack, but at least we get him for four damage because of the attack. I mean, actually. I mean, all right, I don't need to pay for life, so that'll be it. I could have not played this and just attack to pump this guy, but I really wanted to deploy creature to just get him for more damage. All right, so the Legion's Lieutenant will flip and guarantee me the fifth land to play Dusk, Champion of the Dusk. But I don't think it's what I want right now. So I think I'm just going to bottom this. Because I'm fine with any land, or, I mean, if it's a spell, it's okay. Growth Spiral, that's a lot of ramp spell. I don't know, but my point is sideboard out. But... Okay, they have zero cards in end. I don't know why they board it in Bronto now, honestly. Alright, that isn't a Danto Vanguard. Not great draw, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I'll be fine with that. And just keep on attacking just with these two. And then I guess I'll play on a Danto Vanguard. 
Now I can threaten the plus three. All right, I'll take four life. So I got 11, I'm gonna play another Adanto Vanguard. Now, if I had drawn the... I don't know, if I had drawn the... Legion's Liu uh, was called, the Legion's Land. All right, just land. Wow, it explode. All right, we got lucky, they just flooded out. But I don't know, I'm not a fan of their configuration post sideboard. They have like Brontodon, which is not very good. They have Growth Spiral as well as 20,000 mana creature. So that was probably... That was probably, you know, not optimal. I don't want to spam you, but what's, what about Vona? I mean, you're not, you're not spamming me. <laughs> Call Drake. You are very welcome to ask me wise question, okay? I love very much wise question like yours. So if in the chat you have any question like Cold Drake, just don't hesitate because I read the chat a lot. Uh, at, uh, Vona, I think that it's a five drop that doesn't impact the board. I don't like these kinds of cards, okay? I just don't like to pay five mana and pass the turn. Could you analyze Avier's list from fandom? Yes, I can. Let's go. MTG Goldfish. Uh, no, I can't. How do I can do that? Where is the dex? Where are the decks? It's not an MTG Goldfish, so I can't analyze it. Play first. What is this awesome extension you're using? It is called Cardboard Live, and it's an awesome extension. It's the, it's the extension they're using for the, uh, for the Mythic Championships and the uh, Star City game, and now it's even possible to use it for streams. I don't need to load the deck. Even in Limited, it will work, which is great. Font of Agony is in the sideboard. Uh, I don't know what it does. Whenever I don't know what a card does, it kind of means that it's not particularly good, because, you know, I'm... Pretty, pretty much with any card. Okay, serious question. Why are you so handsome? Um, my, I don't know, my mother and father are two good-looking people, so I think that's how the word works, probably. There is no export deck on the extension, though. Yes, they are working on that. Uh, in the meanwhile, you can check this. All right. What else question do we got? Is two Ajani and the other two Sorin better in this deck? Uh, Sorin uh, from War of the Sparks is the worst magic card that has ever been played in a game, uh, in a deck of standard. I said it in my recent article for channelfireball.com that you can read it here. There has never been uh, such a bad card that has ever seen play in standard. Sorin, I don't even know the name because I don't acknowledge it as a magic card. Lots of new viewers, yes. We got a big raid from show, and I'm um, very thankful to whoever stays on here. We did defeat the deck, and I don't even know what they played. So I'm just going to assume that they, the rest is good against them, and Gideon as well. I'll cut Dusky Boy. Because it's pretty bad. Maybe you should cut Mortify, yeah. Should I keep this in, and uh, why not? One Dusky Boy. Still no Mythics. Yes, this is the second day that we play Standard. I've been playing uh, Limited in order to practice for the Twitch Rivals event. Shoplet Vampire 2 with this other Soarin. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's the good thing in Magic. A lot of people disagree with the ideas, and we could all be right. But if you stay here, it's for my opinion. Which Soarin sucks? Oh, not the Mythic one. The Mythic one is the best card in M20. The War of the Spark one is the worst card in the world. Our opponent keeps on playing some gates. Where's Valdo? All right, Plaza Harmony. Does this gain life? Okay, nice. So they have three mana. I can play Guild Summit. That's okay. I would love to draw land here. Can I draw land deck? No? Okay. I don't know Vanguard though is very good against these decks because they're like uh, the damage base is like uh, Gates of Blaze, so the yeah, Adanto Vanguard just survives to that. Gate shit, yeah, my opponent's gate shit. All right, uh, do you think they have an answer to my Sky March Aspirant? Hmm. Um, they might. I'm gonna just still go for the grind, go for the greedy play. 
Mango's a very greedy player. All right, my greed got rewarded. Font of the Agonies for infos. Let's see Font of the Agonies. Font of the Agonies is a black card. Whenever you pay a life, put the many counters. It's very... I understand the combination with the Dant of Anger, but it does sound to me a little bit too much. Just like my opponent deck. It's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too clunky. Usually when I play standard, I want to be like super efficient, you know? All right, we've might have, we've, opponent might have been the might have played the least amount of spell in two games of, out of everyone. Oh no, they gained three life. All right, good games. Dra Drognettino, maybe Italian. All right, I need to go to the restrooms, but I have so many viewers that I don't want to leave. You know how does Twitch work? Twitch works that it doesn't matter how great you are, it doesn't matter how entertaining you are, it doesn't matter how much people are interested to your deck. If you go to the restrooms. For 30 seconds, they need to quit. No, 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 Dido. I can't. I can't. I also thirsty, but I can't drink. Because the more I drink, the more I need to go to the restrooms. I even have a restroom emoji, a toilet emoji. But I usually do that when I have like 400, 500 viewers, you know, 800 viewers maybe. I just have too many viewers right now to leave to go to the restroom. You know, I can't disappoint you guys. I can't disappoint. Wow, Terramander. Oh, I drew Sorin. Might be the first time that I drew Sorin on turn three. It's actually not on turn three because I played this bad land. We got a curve. I mean, not really because you have Temple. I don't think Temple is very much playable. It, we play it because I don't know. I don't know why, honestly. I shouldn't have played this game. Trade? Thinking. Are we gonna leave before you? No, 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 no. Don't leave before you go to the restroom. All right, I'll just ignore this Legion's Lieutenant. All right. Spectra Sailor, wow. All right, we did draw our land. They have two lands up though. They have, do they have any wizards in play? Oh, no, they do. Let's go play Legion's Lieutenant and make them counter it. Or not. The rotation is happening in October. Usually. The first of October's. All right, all they do is just more one ones. It kind of feels like playing in, in draft against Fairy Miscreant. It's, they just play a lot of cards and don't do anything. Mortify in 2019? <laughs> yes, Mortify. All right, let's attack with all. And probably just pass. Stop talking about peace, please. I really need to pee, so if me reading about that is not gonna help me. Stop. Okay, chat. Don't make me think about it anymore. Our opponent goes into combat. We're gonna let me be do it. Okay. But I mortified a Siren Storm teamer. Play water sound effect. Can I ask you about playing your list, Mangu? Thank you, Ugnip. Alright, I tapped out to play the Tempest Gin. It's time to play good cards, I think. Is this a good card, though? No, I think this is a good card. It's kind of... <sighs> Alright. So we attack for four and gain four life. They could kill my soaring, but that's kind of going to make me win the race. This, this game was hard. Playing against blue, it's always hard. Sneak in a replay. What's that? Yeah, Grainu, yeah, thank you for the suggestion. I, 
I don't have anything to put. I guess what I can do meanwhile is just to do Chain of Fireball, just in case. If you remember that if you register for a GP, use the code video during checkout. And if you buy cards from Channel Fireball, use this link. But you know. What do you think about this short list of planeswalkers in M20? What's your question, Kazo91? Alright, Curse Obsession. They drew the card that just makes their deck good. But I could just win the race here. They need to have a... They, they, they can't Wizard Slide in my thing, so if all they have is like... They have to have the gate for my Johnny or they lose the race. I mean, I'm actually just win on board. Soaring. So they're gonna play a 2-2 that taps me. Fuck. All right, so I need to play against Trickster. So I can play Soaring, pump the Lieutenant in to tap with both. No, I'm gonna play a Giant here. All right, can they adopt it? No. So if they play the 2-2, two -two, they attack me for maybe four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's not gonna be lethal. So I'm gonna play a Giant pre-combat. Pump both. And then go to combat. And they attack for three. Yeah, they have Trickster for sure. That's the only card that can save them here. Or maybe they don't. All right, they must have misclicked. All right, unfortunately I put it misclick. This would have been a cool game though because attack it put them down to three and then Soren kills them. That's why I made this. That was a flash one one, yeah, I forgot about the Spectre Sailor being a flash. Yeah, it's not really a misplay, it's a misclick. Alright. So they draw a card. The Ajani dies, but you know, it's it's fine. Yeah, there is another blue one drop yet yeah, that is flash. That's true. Alright, I have one card in hand. This the sword will just shoot them. This was a cool game, I mean. This was a very cool game. Uh, you ran into legacy YouTube content. Yeah, I mean, I stream every morning, uh, Steve Pushka. I stream every morning for a very long time. So if you've never encountered me, probably because you're, you know, you did, didn't check very well. <laughs> stream every morning. I usually play standard. I've been playing some limited in the last week. All right. So we are against. Uh, uh, what are we playing against? Uh, Mono Blue. This sideboard is really bad. It's really, really bad. All right, you know what, guys? I'm gonna go to the restrooms now, very quick, so that if you're really interested in seeing how do I would go as Mono Blue, you have to stay there. Be back in one second. Perfect hand. Wait, please mold? No. No, no sideboard, no sideboard. Yeah, this sideboard sucks, we never sideboard. All right, do we wanna play a knight or do we want to play a land so that I can curve out Vanguard into Soaring? I think I'll play knight. How did the rivals go yesterday? Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. You lost 10 viewers already. Oh my God, 10 viewers we lost already? Oh, where did you go? Where did you go, guys? Where did you go? No. 
Don't leave poor Mango. Don't leave poor Mango. All right, you're all in. That's nice. That's nice. I'll tackle. Uh, I'm going to still play a top lane and one drop. Ooh, that's awful. In, I guess the normal deck I would have topped it because I can go sorry minus three. But I'm against the uh, Mono Blue, so I don't want that. Oh, no, bait 20 viewers? Oh. Also, now I can drink again. That's so nice. I was so thirsty. The Rivals was fun, but... No, 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 I, I always wash my hands. Also, I don't like the, the kiss there. That the Italians used to do. All right. Let's get this out. Yeah. In Italy, everything is tiny, even glasses of water. We call this poker, four of a kind. Gonna go Danto Vanguard, Knight of the Ebon Legion. I kinda wanna just lose four life here. I think I will. Just right to me, just lost four life to Glorious Anthem, my team. Tiny hands make the glass look big. Yeah, my hands are so small. I mean, it's not really, I mean, it's just compared to the face. Yeah, that's living dangerous. Yeah, but I think my opponent says nothing in the end, so Sorry will give me some life next turn. I'm just dead next turn. You think vampires are better than elementals? Uh, <laughs> it's a different decks. Alright, one. I didn't board in. <laughs> I just vet here. I'll go board out a Johnny and maybe one champion. Mardu Power is good in modern. Mm, no? I don't know. I've never seen the deck in a, a year. Last time I saw it was in the hands of Jerry Thompson, so probably not. You don't mind Gideon in this matchup? Yeah, you, 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 you're probably right. You're probably right. It's just that he's a plain... S I don't know. It's just a spell that you have, like, that should us negate. So... No, Bidet is only a tool uh, to clean. To clean a part that... Very clean. Alright, no lands, thank you. Ears? No, no, no. All right. The mulligan to five. Yes, that's always a nice news. I wish I had to be there. Yeah, I wish I always ever be there. Whenever I go, like going to uh, going to Italian's tournament is great, just because they always have to be there in their in their hotel. That's just the best. All right, pass the turn on the blue opponent, please. Be that bedazzle. <laughs> be that so fun. Be that bedazzle. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is a pretty big race. Sure, opponent also trying to fight us, but. Uh, no Bodao, I would, yeah, I would, I would stop saying words, statement is like that, yes. I think, uh, we can stop those statements. This conversation is so gross, yes, I would agree to stop this, I would agree to stop this. I would agree that we went a little bit too far, I don't want my viewers to leave, not because I go to the toilet, but because, you know, we approach these conversations. I'm gonna jam, whatever, counter me, counter me if you dare. Kind of my second to see with your niggas. 
All right, they did counter. I really wish they didn't, honestly. I was just uh, I was just daring them, but they did. They had it. All right, that the Vanguard is no joke, though. Yeah, I dare you to counter my thing. And next time I'm gonna dare it. I'm not. I'm gonna dare them again. Yeah, this goal is gonna be an okay attack. How fun was that? I mean, obviously, just people don't have a clue about magic. But how fun was that? There was someone who was calling for a ban of the fairy. That's probably the most fun part of this very long. Standard format, and like literally nobody plays the fairy anymore. That they, they, they like banned the fairy from standard, basically. All right, I'll tackle. What's your take on why the record win fell short on the ladder? Oh, it used to be bad against Esper and Sultai, and now it's uh, just. I need a judge, judgey, judgey. What happens if, in response to them Mephro trickstering my Odanto Vanguard, destructible? Don't pay. All right, thank you, Judgey. Thank you for your services. This was actually a pretty bad attack. I should have played champion first then. Judgey, you should have told me that before. You should have said, Mangu, play champion first. Yeah, chat is great. Imagine if I just pay for life there, bam. Well, chat has made all the mistakes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Chat has lived all the lives so that they can teach me. That's great. Such a wise shot I got here. Ba -ba -ba. What to do, 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 what to do. Sorry, Imperius, Bloodlord. Tap reasonably, please. Why not play Soarin and put Champion in play? I just don't want I just don't want Sh the Soarin to die. I mean, I drew a second Soarin, all right. But if I just do Soarin minus three, they just you know, it's not, it's not very good. Okay. Which I do think is better for standard. Can I say none of them, or do I have to say some something? All right. This is I'm gonna play this pre combat because I have the yes, I have this these resolves. Whereas if something dies, then I don't have the Cetus Blessing anymore. No, judges are very important to the... Competitive scene like me. Oh, you can't join them because it's invite only, the competitive scene. You can go play GPs and MCQs, but you know, that's... You can't start and aim to be on an MPL level. Before... Before... Doing well, I, I I won seven MCQ and played seven Pro Tours before before being, you know, a silver level pro. So don't just go big. This is a game. Someone makes a living out of it like me and other MPLers. But this is a game, okay? Yeah, so... I would say to not think joining competitive scene like Mango does. It's not as easy. I played six years of PTQs, five years of PTQs before... Uh, um, do I want to lose four life? I think losing four life easier is the best way to lose the game. So I'm gonna just let them do the things. All right, it's a two five. Yeah, I'm not doing anything here. Yeah, good. All right, they're attacking me. I could block. If they have a dive down at the end of the day, it's not that bad. I'm gonna just block here. All right, and that's a trade. How much Trickster have they played at this point? Two, I think. I think if you have the the the, the overlay, you can see our graveyard. 
All right. This is tough. Unfortunately, we're short of one damage. All right, let's play Soarin. I'm gonna play land. I might have double spell piercing there. All right, let's give plus one, plus one, and death touch to this. But then the Soarin will die. What if we give plus one, plus one, death touch to this instead and attack with both? That's actually a pretty good play because this means that if they want to kill this, they have to double block. So basically, we kill, everything dies, but they have a Soarin in play, which is not great Soarin in play, but I kill everything. So I think I'm going to do that. This, remember, this gives death touch as well. So I'm going to do this. Attack with all. Yes. If they want to trade and double trade, then the Soarin survives, okay? And Soarin cannot die if they block with the Tempest Gin. All right, so we clear the board and we got a Soarin. All right, I just hope they don't have creatures here. All right, great. Let's draw. Let's hope I draw a creature. Ah, boy, Kaeva. Okay. Don't have a Curb's Obsession. Don't have a Curb's Obsession. Ah. Come on, Vampire Deck. Where are my vampires? Where are my fucking vampires? Oh. Oh, Blue Tempo is, is good. Now Teferi is not running around anymore, so this deck could actually be playable. Why is Gideon on the sideboard? Uh, Gideon is in the sideboard because it is good against the uh, bait. Oh, I forgot about the Siren Storm Teamer. I forgot about the Siren Storm Teamer. <laughs> I forgot, so they can counter the ability here. All right. I was just planning to draw back-to-back -back vampires to shoot them. Dusky Boy is a great draw. If I find... I don't think I have any out at this point. I don't know, my out is a champion of dusk, I don't know, because it was four. All right, good game, this was a very good game. All right, oh, I was dead. All right, the four, the full set of Merfolk Trickster, it's okay, good game. I mean, they draw two cards per turn, so it's reasonable for them to have it. Keith Yao wins. Oh no, Diamond. Diamond gets far, further and further. Ooh, I can't re re roll a quest, come on, 750, no. I know what to do with all this gold. I kind of hate playing the draft uh, best of one. So I just got a stack of gold. I kind of want to just uh, sell that gold for money. Can also soar in minus to avoid the counter. And Good morning, Chimino. Yeah, I, I would love to sell gold. Wow, this, hand, this deck is so bad sometimes. Just look how bad is this hand. Like, this hand, it's like... <sighs> Alright. Alright, this hand on the other side could be amazing. If I draw land, I got one, two, three, four, boom, 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 boom. All right, don't try to raise your me opponent. Don't try to raise your me. Oh, Goblin Electromancer. Do people still play this card? Hmm. I think I need to kill that card. Usually this card is just unbeatable if it sticks around, so I'm, I have to kill it. It's been a while since I played against the uh, Phoenix. Glad to see that deck around. 
You're supposed to be pro and beating everyone. You win my ERL and can't beat some scrubs online. <laughs> I mean, I am uh, I am platinum. I mean, I used to be <laughs> mythic. I'm just platinum here because I don't uh, I don't play too much standard. Okay, so let's do the thing where we draw three cards for free. All right, let's play Dusky. So I lost now the fourth life. So now the Knights will get countered because I lost four life in this turn. This was a pretty solid turn four. What do you guys think about this turn four? What do you think about my turn four? Do you think it's uh, better than my opponent's turn four? You kind of need to owl at some point. I think owling is a totally reasonable thing to do at this point. This. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Was that an airplane? Ah! was it honestly no why did i block the three two come on it was the only thing that they shouldn't have blocked because <laughs> uh, in a death touch sorry also gives death touch on top of doing twenty thousand things for three mana all right this was a solid performance off a of mulligan to six i know that mulligan to six means anything it's just something cool to say you know, when you say like, oh, I even mulligan to say it's like if it was something bad. Yeah. I'm always sideboarding the same cards or... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cost the best. That was a nice turn four. Three mana planeswalkers are fair cards. Yeah, they are. With two mana planeswalkers. So there's that. Oh, right on time, the Knight of the Ebon Legion. It kind of tilts me when I draw this on turn two. <laughs> After I miss the turn one, you know? All right, I thought the Vanguard is just amazing against blue red. Hello, Malina. I'll attack and play these two cards. Duress? Yeah, I don't care. I don't even want to lose four life. I don't even want. Uh, I don't. Want, I don't want to lose four life for this because it's possible that they had shock. All right, crackling Drake, also known as Wall of Omens, or oh, Entrancing Melody, also known as Entrancing Melody. Sanctum Seeker, also known as the Bomb. Do, 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 do. Trigger, 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 trigger. Yeah, Carbolive is nice. Why is the fairy not played? Is it not? I mean, I have never played it today. Today we have played uh, 2 hours and 20 minutes so far. Charter Course, also known as uh, draw 2 cards, put a 3-2 flyer into play. So, not very bad. Not very bad indeed. Ooh, Lava Coil. Yep. Yeah. yeah, a few people, a lot of people just like, wow, they're missing a second spell. That's lucky. That's lucky for us. All right. Show me what you got, opponent. Probably just four lands. That is not four lands. I can guarantee you it is not four lands. If you want to see my deck beards me, there's many ways. One is just using the thing, and one is one is using the overlay, and one is going exclamation mark deck. Now, when I think of it, also didn't you know? Yeah, you must be the only player as per control on the ladder. Yes, you could be. You could be. All right, I said. You know what? First thing first, I'll play a. Alright, couple of Phoenixes will come in, but 
the sanctum seeker will just say like oof maybe I don't know let's see what we do oh champion of dusk that's sweet so if I go sanctum I mean definitely gonna go cha champion seeker here sorry sanctum seeker here So if I attack like this, they got to auto six. They got to six, and I lose my creatures. I don't think so. I think we're gonna go no attacks here. It's too risky. If they just have a final of promise, they just reanimate all their phoenixes, and I really want to just ask to draw six next turn. All right. What did I do? Just a temple. All right. Let's draw six cards to start. Usually that's not a bad start. All right, five is fine as well. And uh, no attacks, counter on this. We call, it, we call this Grizzle Brand. We call this Grizzle Brand. I don't know how you guys call it, but this is kind of like the Grizzle Brand to me. We used to play also Emrakul, which is uh, this guy, which is this guy, the Aunt. We used to play Emrakul as well, the Aunt of the Eye Tower, but I don't want to use a Mythic Wild card to craft it, so I'm just going to play Grizzle Brand only. Yeah, I took out Cage. I took out Cage, I, I don't know, I just... Whoa, opponent has four things on here that I don't know how to read. Alright, guys. Italy versus... Tell me. Is that Japan? I think Japanese, right? China? Okay. Italia versus China. Alright, you, you have to know this, guys. You have to know this. Italy played against China three times at the World Magic Cup. Oh, Japanese? Okay. But I'm going to continue regardless. Italy played against China three times in the War Magic Cup, and we beat them all three times. We just wrecked China every time. Whereas, Japan is another story. We played against Japan two times, and we are one and one. Unfortunately, one of the losses was in top four, so very sad losses. Very sad loss. But China, we have such a good matchup against China. We are just... Uh, the Chinese, how do you say, Chinese, uh, what's the good way to say that we beat them every time, without being, you know, rude? Hmm. Nemesis? Slayers, I like Slayers. You need to play versus James Z, the best player in China. Ooh. No, the best player in China must be uh, Liu Yichen. He must be the best player in China. All right. Is it time to play the best card in our hand? Soaring into Sanctum Seeker. I think so. Alternatively, I could pump... What do you guys think about that? Li Shitian is from Hong Kong. Hong Kong is very much different from China. Very much different. It's a whole different country. The second seeker in I, my mind, I need to put these things in. All right. Hello, Red Arrow four twenty. I'm doing well. This deck is very fun. Time is flying, I have to admit. Alright, I lose four life here. Okay. This was not a very good turn. I lost basically everything. You know that meme of, uh, what did you play? A sword in Imperium Bloodlord. What did it cost you? Everything. Everything it cost me. 
No, lose 8 is not good. Lose 8 is not good. Beating Italy. I think. Alright. Japan wins game one, but Italy will, will, will fight with fight back. What do you think about uh, Team Roll Manso? I think it's a good deck. I right now prefer other strategies, such as uh, Vampires. Alright, this Paco. The sideboard is so bad. I just haven't sideboard a single card the whole tournament, the whole day. I blame show. No, it's joking. Um, Tocatli even playable. I mean, could do the switch Tocatli for uh, Dusk Legion Zilloth. Bit of Dusk. Because, of course, this doesn't work with Tocatli. But this is a pretty solid card. Maybe we should cut that, but I don't want to do res. Out of Danto? No, I don't think I can board out of Danto in this deck. The curve Adanto into Soarin is just... What the deck? I don't think I can board up Champion. I mean, Gideon, all this... Uh, Gideon sucks. No, you don't beat red with lifelink. You beat red with board presence. And Gideon just doesn't protect himself. His card is advantage. Like Dusky Boy, it's bad, I think, just because we're replacing with Tokatli. I think this is fine. I could have Ixlan Binding. Yeah, I could. You can find Humans of Magic on Sianer Fable. Yes, yes. Yes, Humans of Magic is uh, a podcast. I've listened to LSV podcast on Humans of Magic and John Finkel podcast on Humans of Magic. Very, very, very interesting podcast. I plan on listening to Gabriel Nassif as well podcast. Like interview, but I just don't have, I just don't have too much time right now. I give this very bad end. I probably just lose. Japan will will will, will beat Italy. All right, we have the, we have the combo Tokatli Champion of Dusk to make her five mana four four no abilities. Usually Tokatli dies though. It's like the same thing why you have Tokatli plus Banner and Deluxe in the same deck. It's a boss card pass. Of cyber configuration. No, I don't have an episode yet. All right, we have some uh, heavy non synergy here. Bye. Have you tried Legion's End? I did not. What is good against? It doesn't seem that good to me. I mean, I would play maybe this figure instead. I guess it is fine against the Danto Vanguard as well. Yeah. Yeah. Tocatl is here for elementals. I'm, I'm boarding against red because I kind of didn't want the, the, the Dust Legion Zilloth. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Our opponent is setting up for the biggest turn of all time next turn. And we are just doing some, some random things. Let me just kill my Tocatli. Do I attack? Nah. This figure seems strong in this deck, yeah. This matchup is red deck win favored. No, I did not try any deck. I only played Vampires and uh, Blue Green Ramp, as known as Show's deck. Wow, they're both me? Oh my god, get ready, guys, because this turn is gonna be huge. Ooh, some Vampires use Venerate Loxodon. Huh, that could be. That could be. I don't know what team plays for. Maybe in place of a Johnny, but I love a Johnny. I'll put it as just a four, four play set of Runaway Stamkin. Cool, lucky. I think Mango 09 will not be victorious in this match. Is this the only deck we will play something clever? Legion's End says Remorse. Remorse, I cannot draw that. 
Guys, do you want to have fun and see what they're doing, or do you just want to concede? I think they kind of deserve it. I think they kind of deserve it. Let them play. It's so boring, though, to just watch. Sorry, I want to concede. It's fun. I'm going to... I'm sure. Like, they are currently having a blast here. I'm sure about that. But I, 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 I'm not. I'm not having a blast. I'm having, in fact... Uh, a bad time. Alright, now, maybe. Maybe now it's fun. Maybe now it's fun. Maybe not. What, what? Oh, I have this spark? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want this spark there. I'll just concede. Because you know what? Had I not had this spark, I would have let them go through. But since I had this spark, I needed to just click OK every single time. I just, I was once not about that. So either I play this spark, but then the fun ends. Or I play. Yeah, I was getting blasted. All right, Carnage. Resolve all, yeah, but then I have to click that every time, you know, it's... One time I played against Omniscience, and uh, I just uh, left. I just left, and when I came back, they were still doing things in standard. Right, we, we have the curve, we have a very good curve here. We need a, a one drop and a land good. Alright, the easy part has arrived. Plug engineer in humans. Yes, it's good. Plug engineer is a is a good humans card. Just right. Okay, we've sorted into Grizzle Brand Grizzle Brand. Okay. It doesn't matter how cute things you do. Nisa is still the best card in the world of the spark and a beating. Yeah, play so I've played a lot of Sulta Dreader before before I'm twenty. Here decks indeed. I'm still gonna go Soarin uh, Champion of the Dusk. This is a four four that blocks the Nisa token. I'm even attacking here. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, Esper is great. Alright, Sinak is asking me, what do you think a good card for Selesnia life gain is against control? Uh, Adanto Vanguard is good against, against control. Ajani is very good against control. Gideon is very good against control. What would you remove from your London humans list to make room for Plague Engineer? Uh, maybe like one dumping sphere. Is Tron good? Maybe like one dumping sphere. Yeah, you you would have Ponza, you would have Ponza the land. <laughs> that is not a winning strategy. The winning strategy is to get on board, draw some cards, you know, just 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 have a four four to block, so on and so forth. And that is this is Fugger. We might need this figure, yes. But it's not that against this green deck you win by disfiguring the Lanor Elf. I don't know, but there's a bunch of decks that are very good against Tron. Like, like Hogak is very good against Tron, and Neoform is very good against Tron. So I don't know if Tron will be a good deck, despite it got slightly better with some minor changes. All right, so we're against blue green steel. I think I want to just board in Noxious Grasp and Gideon Black Blade. And that's it. I'll cut. Be just the dusky boys. Maybe mortify. No. Yeah, maybe mortify. 
and a couple of dusky boys. Maybe you know what I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut Legion's Landing. The card does seem very poop against them. Is Dress not good here? I don't know. They're, they don't play that many creatures. They don't play that many spells. They play, they play four Voracious Hydra, you know, four Hydroid Crazies. Those are the best cards. Uh, I don't know, James, if they're doing the open deck list in Barcelona. I hope so. It is very good, especially for, uh, you know, pro players. Because we we always get super ghosted. Like, we, we always get scouted and... Uh, Whenever we sit down, or we, we're we still getting scouted that MPL got a fixed table. So you can just scout as every single turn. I can even take a look at my sideboard. Like, for example, I played Red Bull on top, okay? Like, I'm, I'm just telling you why the public list is so good. And, you know, why it's so good for us, at least. For us pro players. Uh, Red Bull on top in Florence, you know, people was always, always look at my games. They always knew what I was playing every time I played against an opponent. I never knew what my opponent was playing. That is unfair. All right. All right. I'm offering a trade here. I'll play a Dante Vanguard. On top of that, honestly, some people could just uh, refuse to go on streaming uh, on turn number four and then just be spoiler this deck for the entirety of the tournament. Yeah, exactly. Some person could go like, it's turn four of this PT. I don't know, just Luis Scott Vargas goes on camera. We know what like Team Channel 5 was playing. You know? That's that's pretty bad. Whereas if you sit down against uh, another person, you just don't know what they're playing. That's just unfair. And also, I've been asked to do deck deck multiple times at PTs, and I always re refused. Because... Because I don't get any money by doing that. Sure, I get some exposure, but that's not the goal. Sometimes. Sometimes the goal is just more to have your deck not being published. So I, I always refused to do deck deck. Whereas now, in, uh, in, in Barcelona, I accepted it. Because I had nothing to lose. The deck list was already played. What to do? Also known as Elite Guard Mage. If I attack with all, they block the Liu Tiang. I don't think I'm about to attack with all. I'll just attack with... Uh... If you want to see some decklist post-ban, I made an article just today about Ogak post-ban in Modern. Yes, I think Vampires is a tier 1 deck. I think Soren in Prayer's Bloodlord is a very, very powerful card that makes this deck playable. Yes, the route, yes, they're Kel, but they should also incentivize us to, you know, do things for free for them. And by doing public deck list, they do that. By doing public deck list, I accepted the deck tech and uh, I'm happy to just tell Twitter what deck am I playing instead of hiding information. I think RG Danis is a good deck. No, I never thought Gru was a good deck for the entirety of Last Standard and I still don't think about it as now. What if I attack with almost all? No, I think I'm gonna just go soar and pump the Legion's Lieutenant and attack with all. What well, do you think Affinity has fallen out of the map of modern? Because it's slow and. I don't know, it's slow and it's. It decks. Yeah, open deck list. I hope they put hands. Honestly. Um, thoughts on Elemental. Elemental deck is good. I'm just, I just think that blue green uh, with Voracious Hydra is better. Yes, CBL James is the janitor of the uh, cardboard live app that you guys are seeing right now. So, if you have any feedback, like you know, enlarge the cards or export the deck list. Thank you, Joke97.
Soren will be very weak after rotation. People keep on thinking rotation as not a rotation, but just a, an entire cut of sets. There is going to be cards in the new set. There isn't just going to be less four sets. There could be vampires. Soren, right now, I think it's the best card in M20. Of course, after rotation, things could change. I might feel the need of the rest over a Johnny. Yeah, the extension is available for everyone if you stream. You just go to Twitch extension, it's very easy, dashboard, extension, you search Cardboard Live, and then you download it. It's very easy. I honestly, I didn't, do, I didn't do anything. And then you just download this on your computer. Yeah, the chances are slim, but, you know. Our opponent played the Ley Line. Key One Kiss says that they that you should enlarge the cards from the deck master. I think that actually, sorry, um, that's different. The differences between the deck master and cardboard live is that your cards are small in this. I think that master was just too big. I didn't like it at all. Have a good day, D Market. Is there a way to copy deck list from the uh, from the thing there is in here and copy the deck list? You just killed. Ah, maybe I don't. Next turn, our opponent will have seven mana. It is kind of unbeatable. I don't know. I don't really want to talk about modern. Sorry, Coomer fifty. Uh, I was not a fan of the uh, uh, Death Shadow. Now I was never a fan of Death Shadow. I play humans. That's the deck I play. The line upsets me here. Yeah. The line of abundance. And also with this new update, I can't see the name of the cards that are on top, which obviously sucks and should be fixed. All right, drew a good card. That is that is very lucky. That is very lucky indeed. I draw. Um. I think I'm attacking. If they want to double attack into my Soarin, I'll just eat the... Ah, do I want to... I don't want my Soarin to... Soarin's mango favorite card word the spark. Yes, <laughs> Soarin. Yeah, Soarin passed from being the best card in... in uh, sorry, the worst card in War of the Spark to the best card in M20. That is a very, very fast jump that they made. Yeah, I picked up the, the wrong glass. That's what I did. <laughs> All right. All right, I got Nashu's Brass to deal with this. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Duress. All right. I could have never pictured such, such, such combination of cards in my opponent's hand, honestly. Among all the combination of cards that I could have pictured, there was not Rivers of Buke plus Planner Wide Celebration. Okay, what about the attacks here? I don't think I want to attack with anything. I'm just going to plus... Maybe I actually want to kill a forest. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What if I kill... What if I kill a part of this druid here? They have no blue mana. And then I, I block a forest, the sword dies. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, sorry if I swear too much. I guess it's not my language, so I actually swear in my language as well. I don't know. If you guys are upset by the swears, I really apologize, but yeah, I am Italian. Yes, yes. Yeah, I know that the, the, the Australian swears a lot, but English people swears a lot as well. I think Americans swears less than English people. Whenever I talk to an English person, they usually swears a lot. 
Who cares about swearing? I mean, someone do. Or maybe I should have killed Ryzen Reef. Alright. Do they attack with their forest? I don't think it's actually reasonable if they do that. No, they don't. Oh, Dusky Boy! Woo! Such a good draw. I think I'm gonna get rid of um, the Ryzen Reef here. Also known as the Ryzen Beef. Maybe Reason. Uh, no attack. I need to draw... Uh, I don't have a Johnny. That's pretty unfortunate. But yeah, discarding... Uh, drawing the rest is pretty brutal. Game. Knight. I think this might be the time where Mango starts to attack. It's difficult to swear. Nah, I don't really. I don't know. When, whenever I. Nah, I'm, I'm very polite usually. Alright. So the Champion of Dusk, Orca. I totally forgot about this. Is Vampire good? I think we're winning a lot today, yes. All right, now I wish I just killed a, a, a land or elf. I think I would have just killed a forest, so I'm just glad I didn't do that. Because I totally forgot about the little abundance ability. Six mana, it shall I. There is a person in our chat that plays a lot of uh, Celestia. It's like called RLs. All right, they attack. They probably don't know about this other ability. So that is very good. Yeah, it was just a lot of... Uh, a lot of ignorance between us two, opponent. Pump of the night. Yeah. New cards, obviously. Yes, they pump, but that's not gonna be enough. Cause mine is a 6-7, yours is a 5-5. Five, five. So, pretty good chump attack from my opponent. Are they dead on board? Say, yes they are. Very nice, Mango. Very, very nice. Mango wins thanks to my perfect lines of hoping my opponent forgets things. And opponent plays Rivers of Buke, which is an unplayable magic card, and draws it without double blue. Alright, good game. <laughs> While also forgetting things himself, of course, of course. But I didn't get caught by forgetting things because I chose another line. I was very close to shoot the, the, the forest last turn with Soren, but I chose not to for other reasons. And then turns out that if I'd done that, it would have just been the worst play of all. Not Mangu, Mangu, Mangu. Mangu doesn't exist, Mangu. What are the other tier one decks at the moment for you? For me? I like blue green steel. I like blue green steel. That is what I like. That's it. I only tried these two decks and was very impressed. I was not impressed with any deck any of my opponent played against me thus far. I was very unimpressed with Gruul. Have you seen Naya Feather? I don't like it. I don't like decks that are rely on a, on a card to work. So, yeah. Do you have an available list for Blue Green Steel? Uh, if you go to Stream Decker from Show, you'll see it. I just net Deck Show. Wow, that's a weird attack. If Show, you have a. Are, are, you, are you still in the chat, Show? All right, if so, you want to just do some clicks and give us your stream decker to show your deck list, it'd be sweet.
All right, that's great. All right, it's gonna copy paste her. All right, opponent is doing literally nothing. They change, they chump block with or else and then have nothing. It's very strange. Usually if you decide to chump block, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, la, 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 la. All right, this is gonna be the game. I think Sorin is like a 100% win rate. Maybe like 95% win rate. Whenever we draw Sorin, I win the game. Sorin is like Ryzen Reef, basically. I am not anywhere humans. I've never played humans after Modern Horizons. All right, so I guess the Sultai Dreadhorde. So I'll play. I'll board in Dreadhorde. I'll board in Grasp. Maybe Elder Spell as well. Anti Eye Tower is good, but it's a mythic, and I don't want to craft it. But it's a good card, yes. Catley for sure in. A Kadaski boy, just like every time I board into Catley. And I think I'll cut Legion's Landing. I cut on Vampires, but I think this is solid. I can't cut Mortify for D-Spark, honestly. Ah, maybe not. Mortify does deal with uh, the 1-3. Uh, the 1-3 Explorer. But I don't really want to cut anything from this deck right now. Can maybe cut Legion's Lieutenant. They must play Final of Eternity. Mythic wild cards are less useful than rare ones? No, I have zero wild I have zero mythics and twenty-two rare. It depends on how many decks you build. Yeah, MPL is the short of mythic wild cards, yes. Yes. I am very conservative on my wild card. I don't use them uh, on uh, on Hunt of the Eye Tower. Sorry. Sorry people. I don't want to use mythic wild cards on Hunt of the Eye Tower. I put a place to the bottom. Yeah. A uh, bonus is not good. I'm pretty sure about that. I tried Hound of the Eye Tower. It was okay, but I don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's good enough. Yeah, I am a free to play player. Actually, it's not true because I spent 100, 100 euros last set. Vona, I don't think it's the nuts, no. It's okay if you like it. I'm not saying that's wrong, but uh, that's wrong. But I, I don't like it. All right, let's do the play of losing four lives to a large disc. Yeah, metagame challenge coming soon. Exactly, all the cards. Uh, la last, last, last month or whatever was it with. Uh, with word the spark, I opened 110 boosters with the computer. All right, Wild Growth Walker enlarges. That's a wild sequence. They should have definitely played wall. Oh, they don't have land. Okay, yeah, but I, I still would have played this first. All right, Escar possible against Ultai. All right, let's just play these two dudes. Second Seeker is not that good, but I think it's solid. I keep on just taking 4 damage to pump these. I think it's fine. I'm going to GP Vegas next month. And want to foil out at least one deck. I'm still decided between Jund and Blue White Control. Oh, I don't want to take such a responsibility, sorry. Blue Eye Control is a better than Jund, of course, but it's so boring to play that I would never play that deck. Not even like for fun one game. Hello, Aris. Through my ladder, I'm too sorry. Yeah. What deck do you will be best for Metagame Challenge? I think Vampires and the Blue Green Thief. Those are the two best cards. How decent are players in Metagame Challenges? Is it worth to play there if you are 200, 400? Ancient, really, ancient reality, what is your point? I don't understand it. 
What's the name of the Twitch extension? I'm I'm using a cardboard life. Let's put our boy in, Johnny. You can't wait for the explore package to run out. I like the explore package. Oh, I have a, a trophy on top. Maybe I shouldn't have done what I did. Maybe I shouldn't have done what I did. What do we do here? Probably just do this and this. How many four random sticks do you have? I have, I have three. They're they're on my Twitter and on my Instagram. Oh come on, stop saying deck. There's just the 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 emoji. Sorry, the the overlay says where the deck is. Just click on the corner. They call me calf. Click on the corner. You see the deck list. All right. So they ignore my reasonable because I'm very close to be dead on board. I always see McSteel against Esper. I don't know. It's fine. I mean, you play turn. You have you have Nisa. You can't. It can't be a bad matchup. Obviously, you. All right, I don't understand this attack. Back on my opponent's side. Best list is this. All right, I'm obviously not gonna give this indestructible or I'll lose the game. All right, I guess they pass. Okay, so we can reanimate the something. Um, so I'm definitely playing this. Then I either attack, I, I either pump an attack or I reanimate something. Usually against Sultai, what you want to do with the Jani is just going to the emblem. So what I'm doing here, I think, is just to pump. So if I attack with both, I gain two life, I go to six, and then I don't die on the swing back. Do I could die. If they go like remove this and explore. So I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm just going to attack only with the Dant of Angered. And drain one life. As you can see, taking four damage for many times. It put us low on life, but it enlarges our knight. Such that they had to remove it with an Assassin's Trophy. And such that they did profitable blocks. So life total, remember guys. It's a resource. It's not, you know, you don't have to protect your life total. If I wasn't 19, but my opponent would have had like two Agro Walker and that would have used their Assassin's Trophy on my on my Ajani, granted that I should have done that, but you know, regardless. Okay, so that is, this game, this game was very hard. My Instagram is Mango09. Can we expect a sideboard guy from this deck? There is none on the net. Yes, yes. My sideboard is actually very bad. I am not sideboarding much. Uh, you know you know what happened with the sideboard guys, my friend? Is that a content producer practice and then write sideboard guides, okay? Whenever I write a sideboard guide, it's a, it's a guide that I practiced a lot, okay? You will never see a crappy sideboard guide from Mangu. You can see crappy sideboard guide on Twitter or on some places. But for me, I try to just do do it after like weeks of testing, whenever I make an article with a sideboard guide. So I don't plan on doing a sideboard guide right now at all, okay? I just played a 1-1. One, one. This might be the worst crisis I've ever seen in my life. Okay, we have an Ajani that I guess that's why they play the crisis. Yes, on Twitter, it's usually crappy sideboard guides. Okay, so I could reanimate something, but I think I'm just gonna go for seven on the Ajani. Actually, I wanna pump with the Legion's Lieutenant for sure, because he can block the two one. And what do I want to pump? This one attacks for really much, for a lot. 
I need at least two blocks back. So this one attacks just for more. I'm gonna pump the Knight, Knight of the Ebon Legion. This one attacks for nine. I need two blockers so that if they draw a removal spell, I don't die. Probably a second craze is in end. Hmm. I think Vampire is a good deck. If you lose to it, I'm sorry. But I think Vampires is a good deck. All right, I need to kill a Johnny. I think today we have not lost much. I've been playing for three hours, solid. Okay. What to do now? If I attack with all of pumping these two, they go jump on the knight. The knight itself, it's... Attack for 13. This is lethal, so I need to jump block with a elf. And I need to block her if I don't want to die to crazy spell something else. So I think I'm just gonna reanimate Skyrim Jasper into this turn. That will block also the crazes. So I'm just gonna go up and that's it. What's your thought on the Scenic Flash deck? I I don't I don't I don't think it's very good. Alright. If you guys don't know what's the abyss, it's an enchantment, it's a word enchantment that says uh also, the, re the reason why, why you might lose with, with Vampires is because you're playing the worst card of all time, Soren, uh, whatever it's called, over a Jani. Maybe that's one of the reasons why people lose with Vampires. Yeah, you sold the 4th Renan 6 for 80. Ah, okay. <laughs> sorry, Skeptim's NTG. All right, this was not a good attack for my opponent. Yeah, thank you for playing the MTG market, I agree. All right, no shame concession incoming. Yes, shame concession incoming, I told ya. All right, this game was cool to win. It was definitely a good performance. Are we finally diamond? Can I shine bright like a diamond? Oh, I can. I can finally shine bright. All right, we got an emergency zone. I've never seen this card before. It's awful. Thank you. All right, vampires, let's go. Which one means more to you, hitting diamond or winning the invitational? They are obviously different goals. Both of them are very happy. Both of, both of them are very important. In life, it's important to hit your goals. To put yourself goals and hit them. I don't care if someone goals sucks. You know, I don't care if someone goals is make day two of a GP. It's still nice goal for them. And if they hit him and are proud, they should tweet it. And be proud of that. Twitch Rivals yesterday sucked, unfortunately. I won a lot of matches, but my partner didn't. So we did lost. But it's okay, we have the next one. Also, another upsetting thing is that last Twitch Rivals, me and Javier, we went with 26 wins, but we finished like out of the tie of the single elimination because, and now with 26 wins, we would have been first last yesterday. Yeah, my codes are outdated. Guess what? I don't care. Please learn from Mango about Twitter. Yes. All right, one mana, one one fly, lifelink. Pretty bad. All right, let's draw Soren. This end can be good or mm, can be super good with Soren or not very good without it. Yeah, Esper. It's not very good. I think right now there's just too many good planeswalkers and they just more. All right, let's go down to Vanguard. Opponent will go uh, Growth Spiral, top land. Ryzen Reef. 
Okay. This guy's not particularly good against aggressive deck, but of course, you know, it's not too bad either. Wow, they missed a land drop? Nice. I hate Gross Pile. I think it's one of the worst cards, together with Soaring, probably. It's just so bad. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see if they trade. Alright, they don't trade. That's good news. We need to draw some 4 or 5 drops here, because... Without four or five drops is pretty bad. How good is ban manipulation right now? I would this game's uh, this game looks like more luck than skill. Yes, it's more luck than skill, of course. Yes, magic has more luck than skills. All right, so they put into play a land tapped. And uh, they're getting ready for another two mana draw card. Solid. Solid strategy opponent. I'm gonna attack with all threatening the activation of Knight of the Ebon Legion. Do you think Ogaki Legacy can be good? Yes. Yes, I think so. It's gonna be worse than Reanimator or any other graveyard. Block like this. Is this? I guess I do. I don't win Pro Tours. The closest I got was the final. Whenever I blow on a candle, though, I always wish to win Pro Tours. All right, I'll, uh, I'll pump this. Boom, 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 boom. Dusky boy. Oh, dusky boy. Ooh. Speaking of Dusk, that's a champion of Dusk. And that's a counter. Yeah. Who wants to win 40k? Oh, money is not. Money is not why we play Magic. I mean, it's my job right now, yes. But when I started playing Magic, it was just the feelings. It was just uh, what Magic brings to me. It makes me joy. It's the best card game ever. On top of that, it's now my job. But at the beginning, magic has never been a job for anyone. Now it is. I thought it was tapped. All right, cool. Are you going to enter the Metagame Challenge again? Oh, yeah. Yes, I like the Metagame Challenges a lot. Yes, yeah, Steve Rubin stopped his magic career to fulfill uh, the his job career he has now a very good job in los angeles he's a very good friend of mine i have a jacket of him that he gave to me we i went to spitzburg his hometown we are, we are a really good friend and uh, you know he decided another life and i i like magic so i stuck to magic and i obviously got rewarded by by the the what's called the the, the mpl but nobody was expecting the mpl you know all right, let's draw six cards first. Magic Game Challenge is a tournament where you pay very little and win very much. So it's a it's a tournament that I suggest you. All right, I'll attack with all. When does the leaks? Yeah, last time I won 110 packs. Last time with the Metagame Challenge, I won 110 in packs. I went three times 7 0. <laughs> and every time you go 7 0, you win 30 packs. Favorite American food? Uh, favorite American food? I like. Whenever I go to those restaurants where, where you have to order, you know, fancy things, oh, not fancy, just playable things, I get meatloaf or the steak. Meatloaf or steak are the things that I order in America. But I usually just eat Chinese food when I go to America. All right, I did some, some smart blocks there. I think I'm taking four damage. Only four. Yeah, when I say playable, I mean, uh, sorry. I mean, um, okay. Yeah, I, I, I just... My grandmother used to make meatloaf. And it's 
not that it's particularly good or anything. It just brings me good memories. Because you know when you are, I don't know, same thing with like, there's some kind of food that I don't eat anymore at any point. And uh, they just, I just, I'm so happy when I eat them because one of them is uh, in Italian is soyula. What is in English? Soul. The soul. In Italian is soyula. What about Gideon main deck instead of Sanctum Seeker? No, I don't think Gideon's that good. I like to go soaring minus three, play Sanctum Seeker. That is a player that I really like. Yeah, it's quite common, but you know, nobody ever makes it anymore. Like used to, my grandmother used to make it. Pretty skill intensive to make it. Like, there's a lot of food that like you can make them on a low level, but that'd be pretty bad. High skill intensive level to make them good. All right, Champion of the Dust just being a brick wall to this is pretty nice. Also, why do you guys don't like Second Seekers to <laughs> win us this game? I mean, we would win this game regardless. We drew six cards last turn, but yeah. Yeah, cooking is like MTG, I agree. Everyone could cook, but you know, if you cook medium, it's not gonna be... Like, the difference between uh, plain cooking at a 50% or cooking at a 70% is huge. All right, there. Should I, aren't they dead on board? I don't understand why people keep on playing while they're dead on board. Like, what do we? What? What? What they're supposed? To, all right, I guess Forest Lano Elf. All right. In the meanwhile, classic loud cars outside. Classic Italians. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Cooking is like MTG. If you're liking it a lot, you're probably overweight. <laughs> uh, and it's not true. It's not true at all. If you like cooking a lot, usually it means that you like to cook healthy things and, uh, you know, nice things. Like the most, uh, the most rewarded chefs usually are pretty slim, at least in Italy. You know, in my town, Senigallia, we have two five-star Michelin's restaurants. They're expensive. Obviously, never been, because I don't like, I don't enjoy spending money on this thing. All right, what do we cut? I think on the drum, fine cutting a Johnny. And uh, some dusky boy. Dread order as well. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry. There's no fi such. Sorry. I thought it was far. I don't know. In Italy, we have some 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 bullshit with five stars right now going on. Let's check. Yeah, Uliassi is a three star. And let's see the other one. And La Madonnina del Pescatore is two star. All right, yeah. We have a three star and a two star in my town, sorry. How is Is that Phoenix positioned? I think Is that Phoenix did not gain anything. Usually when a set doesn't gain anything, it's not great. In my town, you have McDonald's. Yeah, that is. I mean, it's not that I ever... It's not that I'm ever going to go to these restaurants. You know? But it's cool that they exist. <laughs> That's basically where I am. Um, sure, they have Razor Reef on turn two on the play. I just can't... Can never, can never beat that. All right. I just want to take four life here. You should try three star ones. Uh, I mean, there's a great, there's some very good restaurants in Italy, and you don't have to spend three hundred euros. You could easily spend twenty five euros and have a very, very, very good meal. Like, like when was it? Um, what was it on Sunday? No, what was it? yeah on Sunday? Me, my 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 father and my uncle, 
went to like this very nice restaurant. I even put pictures on the on the, on Twitter and Instagram with like the most my the most great gnocchi I ever eat, as well as mussels and uh, I don't know whatever spiegel. It's not a kind of fish, and they drink wine and etc. And you know how much we paid? We paid eighteen euro fifty per person. All right, and you know that's it's one of the great things that if you come to Italy, it is it is you know good food is very cheap. At Elementals is fine, yeah. Like again, in my town, Senigallia, we just have so many restaurants. We li really have so many restaurants. That is, uh, that is, um, it's very hard to just not go in a restaurant and be like super good because there's a Correnza. What's the word? Competition. There's a lot of competition, and if you don't offer a very good uh, a very good product that would just go to some some other places you know so you get like very cheap things for very good very good food every almost every restaurant yeah yeah 80 18 18 one eight 18 50. we were four people and i paid 85 euro maybe i did the math wrong but i paid 85 euro for four people Yeah, my town is Senigallia. It's beautiful. During summer, it's beautiful. During winter, there's no one. But during summer, it's it's really a mono mono summer city. Like it only it only it's totally really popular in summer. All right, I'm just gonna jam my cars and attack with all, hoping their dirtling won't do too much. It'll probably be I have to all my cards. They don't charge ten euro for a coffee in Venice. That's just a myth. If you go to Piazza San Marco, of course they charge that, but you're stupid. Like, in Venice, I was surprised on how cheap was it. Like, sure, the, the hotels are expensive, but restaurants and bars are still cheap. Like, a, a spritz in the middle of the whatever, it's still like, it's still like, um, it's still like 3 euro 50. And the spritz in Senegal is not expensive as they picture it. You just need to know where to go. Yeah, Summer Jamboree is one of the attractions of my town. And actually, in some cases, look at the look on Reed's face, they can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's got to become a meme at some point. Thank you, Fab81, for your sub. Welcome, welcome. And uh, once again, I'm going to take the opportunity to just... Uh, Say everyone that's watching is watching right now. Thank you very much for watching. Probably come from uh, Show Stream. So again, thank you. I really like Show Stream. I'm a subscriber of him and uh, really like his deck and his plays. Uh, if you want to support Mangu uh, by not subscribing, you can do it in other ways. I am uh, a writer for ChannelFireball.com. I also do videos. And uh, if you want to purchase cards from Channel Fireball, you can use the link. If you come to GP Barcelona, you can get shipment for free with pickup in Barcelona. And if you register for a GP, any GP, during the checkout, please add the code VIDEO at the end. That will be free for you and we'll get, you know, just Channel Fireball would pay me that way. So that is the way you can support Mangu. Uh, who's your favorite MPL player to play against? Uh, Reed Duke. What do you, what kind of, I do legacy videos, of course. There is a legacy videos new yesterday. It is, I think, Enchantress. I think Enchantress, let's see. Yeah, Enchantress. Welcome to new legacy video. You can hear my voice saying, welcome to new legacy video. Enchantress, very nice. Favorite Chinese food, egg fried rice. Egg fried rice. Simic Ban Okay, good is getting yeah. Say your top three limited MPL players and top three constructed. No, I'd rather I'd rather say other things. I'd rather say top three Italian food are uh, Carbonara, pizza and gelato. I can say top three toppings for gelato 
I'm gonna say chocolate fondente stracciatella. And you know, a very underrated uh, gelato flavor, I don't know if it exists in the rest of the world, probably doesn't, uh, zuppa inglese. Zuppa inglese, I've been growing up to like it a lot. I, I don't know if that exists. It's a, it's a dessert. Every time I play against Nessus, I really hope I just uh, get a turn when I click OK instead of just another turn after that. Yeah, Zuppa Inglese is pretty, is pretty, is pretty great. <laughs> no, Zuppa Inglese. Uh, I think I can show you a picture. I mean, there's, we're, we, we aren't really looking at any game here. Zuppa Inglese. I can't even suicide myself because I'm on 17. It's this. Uh, yeah, I would I would expect it like this. Something like this, yes. It's similar, I don't know, obviously it's not similar as, as tiramisu, but it's similar to tiramisu. Like, there's cream, there's chocolate. Obviously it's very different from tiramisu, but if you just have to, like, for example, this is tiramisu. Yeah. Yeah, it's not English soup. I don't know. Yeah. The best player in the world, in my opinion, it's Marcio Carvalho. Which kind of pasta do you like? Uh, my favorite... So, the pasta that I like, like the actual type of pasta... I don't know, I really like gnocchi. But this, the sauce, it's I'm debated between in the winter, like in the cold month, carbonara. In the hot month, uh, seafood. Yeah, I don't know why the nickname, the name of Zuppa Inglese, it's English soup. I don't know where it comes from. It, that is the name. Why unsub? What happened, Felb? What did I say? Yeah, gnocchi is made of a potato. <laughs> Will Marcio ever make the Hall of Fame? I don't know. I hope so. I vote him every time. It comes from English Treffle. Super interesting how people's opinion on Marcio switch so quickly. Um, I don't know. I've never switched opinion. I always uh, have very high opinion of Marcio. Alright. <laughs> okay. Did I guys... Yeah, I'll, I'll concede. Alright. I think I'll put a click to beat them game, game 3. Because us but Americans eat cake as much as other countries eat soup. <laughs> no. Yeah. You know what? Actually, whenever you ask me about... Uh, whenever you ask me about what's my favorite dish in America, it's probably the... Um, the desserts. The desserts in America are very good. What did I, well, I forgot about Borden and Gideon last, last turn. Uh, the desserts are very good in America. I really like... I, I was kind of off this game. Sorry. There was just way too many trigger. Are you related to the mob, Mango? Uh, I would, I would, I wonder what would a person bring up a comment like that. I'm just zero remorse. Um, top three standard decks. I like, I like you right now. Okay, we need to draw a payoff for Soren. Oh, it's okay, say your son. I don't I don't mind straight up banning if I feel like. I think that you shouldn't straight up ban someone, but I can. I can. I deserve all the croquetas in the world. Yes, I would love croquetas. You know, I'll be in the next week actually. In seven days I'll be in Barcelona. I have an American accent impression. <laughs> I don't know. I hope my English is good enough. I don't have an American accent impression, no, I just I just try to speak well English. That's that's all I do with my with my accent. Do you play limited on stream? Oh I played a lot of limited uh in the previous days because I practiced for three travels yesterday night. Now the three travels is gone, so I'm gonna play standard I think until the end of uh, standard. Top three summer holiday destinations. Sicily 
What's the other good destination in, Ita in Italy? Probably Sardinia or Cinque Terre. I've never been there, but a lot of people spoke very well about Cinque Terre. So I would say for sure Sicily and Senigallia. Yes, I am Italian. All right, and... All right, it's fine. They probably should chump block. Cinque Terre is floated. Yeah, right now we are we're also floated. Senegalia right now, yesterday, got a pretty big hit. I mean, not flooded, but got a pretty big hit. I need to sacrifice a vampire, sacrificing this to shoot the Nisa down. My friend has a family from Italy, and whenever he goes, he goes to Ro Rimini. Oh, Rimini. Yeah, Rimini is like one hour from here. Yeah, Senegalia is very close to Rimini. I don't know. Do you like football? Uh, no, I don't follow it. I only follow when Italy plays. Lago di Garda is amazing. Yeah, but I'm not a fan of lakes, usually. I prefer I prefer sea. I obviously never been, so I just talk about my experience. I've only been to, like, Adriatic Sea. Uh, and, of course, Sicily. GP Rimini was awesome. Uh, was it, though? I don't think it was awesome. It was the 15th of August, which is an holiday, so there was, like, very, very little people. And etc. I did made 